Yeah, down here for a uh, power play, May power play in uh, June. Yep. Uh, we got a the little red thing ready to go out. Uh, just trying to get out in the first session. Someone's just gone into the wall, unfortunately. That's the, uh, that's the game we play and the risks we take when we come out onto the track, so we'll see how we go. Just waiting for another couple of the boys to rock up. Get the old eco boost out there for all you uh, V6 commie guys and girls, more likely girls. And yeah, we'll see how we go. Get some footage for you and we'll see what happens. A few fat rides. Couple of Fords. Yeah, it looks like they're just clearing the track down there. So we'll uh we'll go get into it. <laughs> just going back out for the next cruise session. First cruise session. Just got all G'd up. Just cleared the track from uh, an incident, so see what happens. Fire this old girl up and well, Eco Boost decided to show up. Just changing tyres. I've just had a bit of a fueling issue with one bad badge. EG, sorry. Uh, we're just gonna just change the linkage to the secondaries so it's opening a bit earlier, get a bit more fuel into it. But the new, it's got new diff gears in it, it's running three, four, fives now. That was pretty good. So we're, uh, yeah, we're just setting up. Get it going. Company meeting, not much going on. So, out on his first run, Ryan realised that his gearbox had uh, gone out no third or fourth, he only had first and second, so all these videos of him out on the track uh, with only two gears, so it's an absolute weapon that little thing.
So recap for the event. One bad VG, ran pretty well. Just a few little things that happened. So the fueling issue at the start of the day, we, uh, we sorted that out pretty quickly. We uh, fixed up the rear end a bit. A few things back there just weren't square, just wasn't handling how it should be. And uh, we lost the crank sensor for some reason. So that probably took us about two, two and a half hours of track time out just to get that out and change it. But we got it out, changed it over, got it all, got it all reading all right in the MSD and everything. So that definitely helped improve that it was getting spark. So the timing was good. Yeah, Ryan. Ryan, Ryan does what Ryan does, mate. He's, he's a good little driver. An eco boost is an absolute weapon. Even with only two gears, that thing just chews gearboxes. But hopefully we can get that fixed soon, toughen it up a bit and just make it a bit more durable for the events. So overall though, like pretty good event. At the end, you would have seen um, Brett's video where one bad VG was uh, told to exit the track due to excessive smoke, which I don't understand. Ryan then maybe half an hour later received the same thing and they took their bands off them for the event. Weren't able to go get their second band as they'd, as they'd stopped driver briefings by that time in the day, which I don't think is all that good. Events like that, you're out there to, you're out there to see, this, see the tires fry smell the smoke and just enjoy the sport. That's what we all do it for. So at the end of the day, it is what it is though. They they run the event out there. We've got to adhere to their rules. And uh, yeah, we just, we just had to deal with it. So we went well. Ryan, Ryan does what Ryan does. Brett's car, we got, we got a lot of the gremlins sorted out for that. So overall pretty happy with how it went. But yeah, you guys, let us know. Leave, leave a comment down below. Let us know whether or not you thought that was excessive smoke that uh, required required the boys to hand in their armbands. But yeah, leave a leave a like, comment, subscribe. Just let us know. We'll uh, we'll keep you in the loop. We got big things coming. A couple of boys. Uh, if you follow them on social media, you know, you'll see we got a we got a couple of big things in the mix. But yeah, stay tuned guys.